Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louisa. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're coming back, welcome back. And today we're going to have a look at what I personally believe is the cutest library in Australia. Today I am back in the town of Penguin, which is on the northwest coast of Tasmania, and it's a great spot to come enjoy the scenery, take in some delicious food and coffee, or perhaps do what I did and get a smoothie and a croissant. you might not be aware that Penguin actually has its own library branch and that's where I am today. As you can see the location is absolutely gorgeous, the weather is sublime today, but even when the weather isn't fantastic the library is always cozy and always full of light thanks to all of the windows. I spent over a decade working in libraries in mainland Australia, specifically in Queensland, and I think that this is one area that Tasmania is actually superior to the rest of the country. The library service in Tasmania is outstanding and I think one of the reasons why it works so incredibly well is because the state is so small. On mainland Australia the majority of library services are run by local government municipalities. So for example city councils. And this is okay if the city itself is well funded and has a large population. However, if it doesn't, then they're very limited with the amount of resources that they can pull together. Libraries Tasmania is a state-run service, which means that you can have one library card that you can use at Penguin Library and also at Hobart. So you only have to join once, you get a library card, and then you can borrow from one library, you can drop off at a completely different one. So let's say I live in Burnie and I want to go on a trip to the East Coast, I can return my books to St Helens. Or if there's something on the shelf at Kingston Library down south and I live in Launceston, then I can request for them to bring that book up to Launceston, and they will, for free. Naturally, the libraries are in towns, but they're generally in quite small towns. For example, St. Mary's has its own library. And because the whole of the state actually shares all of the library resources between their own branches, it means that they can buy a huge range and a huge variety of different things. And one of the best things that I have discovered about Libraries Tasmania is that they're generally pretty good about actually purchasing things if you suggest it. I think I've asked them to purchase like two or three books <laughs> so far and they've done it every time. They've never knocked me back. Usually the only reason that they decline to purchase something is if perhaps there's already something in the collection and the budget's not going to stretch that far 
or if they literally can't get a hold of it, like if it's something very obscure and difficult to purchase. But in all seriousness, I've asked for some pretty niche stuff and they've bought it. Another thing that they can do really well because it's a state-run organization is they can pay for online services that the members can access for free. Free ebooks, free audiobooks, newspapers, magazines, uh, online genealogy. So I'm going to leave you with some images from the library and around town and you can let me know your thoughts in the comments whether you agree or disagree that this is probably one of the best libraries in the country. I personally think it is, but I might be a little bit biased. Have fun guys and I'll see you next time. Thank you.